are back with Chris and Bryce, and we're going to play Heads Up. And mm -hmm. since there are two of you, we're going to do Sidekick. You cannot talk. You have to act out clues and uh, as a team. And then I'm going to guess. If I guess at least five, uh, everyone uh, is going to get a big prize from, from you. <laughs> You're drinking tea, you're having coffee together, you're discussing and uh, your tea party. Uh, would you like some tea? Uh, you're a waiter, you're, uh, you're the waiter, and you're, boy, this is a big, huge production. Uh, you're a bartender. <laughs> we can help, we can help. You're ballet people, you're ballet, uh, ballerina, ice skaters. <laughs> you're a tattoo artist. You're in labor. You're going to give birth. Oh. You're at the prom. You're at oh. Oh. Yeah. You're, you're getting arrested. You're in handcuffs. You're a mannequin. is so cool. What's happening? I believe there's something in here. Oh. Oh, there's not. Oh, here's what this is. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Can I tell them? Oh, he's very angry. Yes. Each one of you is getting a ticket to come to the premiere. <laughs> I want you to see what I got for you. Look out, this is outside waiting for you right now. Shit! <laughs> Alexander Hamilton gets to New York from the Caribbean. Terrible childhood, terrible childhood. How did he survive it? What is your favorite nickname for your private parts? What's the next big purchase you're gonna do? Well, I would love to get myself like a Tesla, but then I saw how much it cost it. And then I was like, oh, maybe I could give me some diamonds, right? Because I never had no real diamonds. Cause I was married before, but I don't know if those was real diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't know. I didn't, I didn't go get it appraised, uh -huh. so I'm not sure. So, um, and then I gave it back. Uh -huh. You know, I had to get that back. Uh, <laughs> anyways, Ellen, yeah. I would like to give me some real diamonds, but then, I don't know, that's expensive too. Yeah. And I want, you know, I don't want to be broke. I've been homeless before. I don't ever want to be homeless again. Right. So I'm probably just going to rent a Tesla and okay. rent some diamonds. Right. Um, so uh, this is, uh, so this book, tell everybody, it's it's about, it, I, I just said during the break, once you hear her story, she is going to inspire so many people by what she has lived through. But tell everybody what's in the book. Okay, so this is The Last Black Unicorn. Tiffany Haddish, that's me. And the book is about... <laughs> the, the book is about, like, my life experiences. And the whole reason that I even wrote the book is because I felt like, you know, I must have gone through this stuff for a reason, and it's probably to share it with people. And there's always, like, a bright side to everything. And, when, and like, I always talk about my goals and stuff. And one of my goals, girl, is to meet Oprah Winfrey, right? Mm -hmm. And then she be my auntie, Auntie O. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then we both be gardening together and uh -huh. stuff, right? She got a good garden. She got a good garden. You know, yeah. she got she got a yard. Yeah. She got a whole lot of backyard. Yeah, she to certainly does. Grow yeah. stuff. Yeah. You know, so I right. mean her, right? And then we gonna start like do a co-op, and then they say, you know, we're gonna start our own little booth and we're gonna go to like farmers markets mm -hmm. and stuff together, and it'll be Tiffin O's vegetables. Right. And We'll probably tour the country and we'll sell out of vegetables and then people will be eating vegetables and stuff because me and Oprah. That would be great. People should eat vegetables. Yeah. All right. 
Okay. But the book is good. You're gonna learn about yeah. foster care, you're gonna learn about marriage. Well, what I learned from marriage anyway. Yeah. Your experience so, of marriage, yeah. Yeah, my experience. So your birthday was yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> okay. I, I want you to see what I got for you. Look out, this is outside waiting for you right now. Shut This, uh, yeah, we're renting it for a week, and then, yeah, all right, if you'll just, all right, if, you, if you'll just sign here, okay. just sign there, okay. there, all right, sign here, here. Oh, nobody ever okay. gave me a car before. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just for, it's just a rental. We, I know, but we need, still. We need it back on the 12th, okay? okay. All I right, have it on the there. If you see, look in the back seat. Look, look in the back seat. Is the diamonds in the back? Uh huh. It's the rooftop. Dig in the scene with a gangster lean. Oh. Let's see. It's a, uh, it's Oprah. Yeah. 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 Oprah's in the back. <laughs> Thank you. Listen. Thank you. I listen. I got a rental. You know. Car. My, you know, I tried Oprah, uh, we tried to get, to get Oprah here for you. She's on her way to South Africa, but we were really trying to surprise you with Oprah. But this is your car for a week, and you're going to drive that car away today. Yeah. All right? The last unicorn is in bookstores everywhere. Fun fact about George Washington from Macy. George Washington, when he died, he only had one real tooth left. We're covered. What will your wife would say is your most annoying habit? <laughs> that could take days. Hi, I'm Lynn manuel Miranda, and this is Hamilton in three minutes, featuring presidential expert, Macy Hensley. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton gets to New York from the Caribbean. Terrible childhood, terrible childhood. How did he survive it? Uh, Alexander Hamilton, everyone says his name, and we start the show. He gets there and goes, you all have to listen to me. I'm really smart. I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. Aaron Burr is like, uh, oh my god, this guy's a lot. But his friends are like, this guy's awesome. And they all sing my shot with him. I know Aaron Burr, sir. Pardon me. Are you Aaron Burr, sir? That depends. He's asking. Oh, sure, sir. I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I've been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Well, that was amazing. Give me a high five. Cut to the Schuyler sisters downtown. We're looking for a mind at work, 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 work. Hey, cut back to all the way across the sea. King George, you'll be back soon, you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. Uh-oh, he's sending all these troops. And now we're in the Revolutionary War. 32,000 troops in New York Harbor. Cut to George Washington being like, oh my God, we're gonna lose. I'm running for my life. I need help. Alexander Hamilton says, you need me, right-hand man. Boom. Well, let's Pause for love. Because Alexander Hamilton meets Eliza Hamilton. She sings, helpless. They get married. Mwah. We rewind. We see the whole story again from her sister's perspective. I liked him first, but she's, he's better for my sister. But I'm going to be really sad for the rest of my life. Satisfied, you'll never be satisfied. War, war, war. Alexander Hamilton's too much. He's very extra a lot of the time. Go home. They're going to have a baby. Come back to the war. Yorktown. They win. <laughs> How much time do I have left? We win the war, King George. You're on your own. After the war, he goes back to New York. George Washington becomes president of the United States. Yay! Fun fact about George Washington from Macy. George Washington, when he died, he only had one row of tooth left. Cut to nonstop. Nonstop, why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Hamilton's like, let me be the Treasury Secretary. Let me do all this cool stuff. George Washington says, yes. Aaron Burr's like, I'm being very left behind. I want to be in the room where it happens, room where it happens. He runs for Senate against Hamilton's father-in-law. Thomas Jefferson was ambassador to France the whole time. So he comes home, he's like, oh, what did I miss? Cabinet battle, cabinet battle, cabinet battle. More animosity between Burr, Hamilton, Burr, Hamilton. Hamilton uh, does not become president, but all of his enemies do. John Adams, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson. Fun fact about Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson had two grizzly bears as pets. What were their names? I don't know. Me neither. History spoiler, Burr shoots Hamilton. We talk a lot about legacy. We make you cry a lot. The end. That was Hamilton in three minutes. 
That was great. <laughs> the craziest thing you ever saw at Studio 54. I can't see that on TV. I'm Silver Fox Alec Baldwin, and I'm in the hot seat to answer Ellen's burning questions. Ellen, go gentle on me, I'm fragile. The craziest thing you ever saw at Studio 54. I can't see that on TV. The last thing you purchased on Amazon, $50,000 worth of butt cream for our kids. What is your favorite nickname for your private parts? The president. A smartphone app called Alec Baldwin would serve what function? Uh, you could yell into it and get out your frustration. Which of your movie titles best describes your sex life? Uh, 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 it's complicated. If you were a superhero, what would your power be? I could uh, uh, make everybody fall in love with me. The first celebrity crush, Julia Roberts. The three actresses you've kissed on screen, Nicole Kidman, uh, uh, Gene Davis, uh, 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 Tina Fey. The strangest thing you've ever asked your assistant for? Uh, advice. If you were a rapper, your name would be uh, uh, Old Ice T. What would your wife would say is your most annoying habit? <laughs> That could take days. Uh, what is my most annoying habit? Where'd she go? What's my most annoying habit? When it's time to leave the house and you're running late, you start organizing things. That's uh, I, uh, come over here, Pony. Mm -hmm. This is why our sex life is complicated. Well, Ellen, I've just answered your burning questions. Right, Bunny? <laughs>